In this video, we're going to be discussing water flow and how to get your fountain running to its full potential. This is the water distribution unit and white plastic baffle. This is going to be sitting on top of your water feature surface, and we're going to be discussing these two aspects during this video. The first thing that we're going to need to do to get to the water distribution unit is to remove the hood. Now, you need to remove the pump cord from its outlet and bring that down to the side. You're also going to need to remove the power cord from this side and lay that down to the side. Now to remove the hood, it's held on there with clips. And so you want to gently lift up on the hood and it comes straight off. You can see how the water distribution unit sits on top of the stone. And what we're going to be discussing here is the gap that is between this lip and the stone. To adjust the water distribution unit to make it fit snugly against the stone, you need to lift the water distribution unit up and firmly press with your thumb the lip. Now this is going to form the copper piece to the stone. And this can be checked by just putting the water distribution right back on the stone and you can see how we filled in some of the gap, but we also have more gap over here. And so you may need to do this a few times, but really push this in. Don't be afraid that you're going to break the water distribution unit because that, that's why we made it out of this, this copper is because it is pliable. And so as we've seen before, we just want to fit that right back on and we still see that there's some gaps going on. And we'll just keep adjusting it until we can get that gap filled in. And as you can see, that was a pretty big uh, gap in between the water distribution unit and the stone. So it took me a little bit of time to get that. But we're seeing that it's fitting snugly against the stone. And this is just going to make sure that when the water flows over the water distribution unit, that it's going to flow over it and run right down the stone. Now that we've adjusted the lower lip of the water distribution unit, we're going to be focusing on the white plastic baffle inside of the water distribution unit. Now, as you can see right here, there are two copper tabs on the top. These copper tabs simply hold the, the baffle into place. To remove the baffle, all you'll need to do is bend those copper tabs down, grab them, and slowly roll it back towards yourself until the baffle pops out. Now you can notice there are, there's copper tabs on the top and there's copper tabs on the bottom. The copper tabs on top just simply hold it in place while the copper tabs on the bottom are going to be the tabs that you're going to need to adjust to get the water flow perfect. Now the, the copper tabs on the bottom are bent up currently. So what this is going to do is it's going to allow all the water to run to the outside edges. The water comes in right here and these tabs act as dams to adjust the water flow from left to right and to the center. Now, we're just going to assume that the water was running to the outside edges because those tabs were bent out. Now that we've adjusted them down, this is going to keep a lot of the water into the center. And we're going to simply just put this right back into the water distribution unit. Now, if you notice, there's a sticker on the top of the baffle that's going to show you that this is, points to the back edge of the water distribution unit. Now as we fit this right back into place, you just want to lift those tabs up so that it pushes that baffle down. Now we're going to be adjusting the outer edge tabs. On occasion, as the water flows over the water distribution unit, it can attach to these tabs and cause a stream or a drip to flow away from your stone. To adjust that, all you're going to need to do is just take your thumb and bend the tab towards the center of the stone. 
What this is going to do, it's going to keep the water flowing on the stone and not away from the stone. Next, we're going to be cleaning the front of the water distribution unit with a Scotch-Brite pad to free it from any debris or oils that have been left on it from your hands. To do this, all you're going to need to do is just scrub the water distribution unit. You want to make sure you get the entire surface clean and you want to make sure that you clean this top edge. Now we're going to test the water flow. And what we want to notice here is we're seeing good flow to the outside edges, but we're having a, a little less flow to the center. Um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you wait at least 10 minutes to see if the water will flow over all by itself. If not, we'll need to make those adjustments. Now that we've seen that there's a dry spot on the water distribution unit, we're just, we'll just unplug the fountain, jump back on your ladder, bend those tabs down, make the proper adjustment, pop the baffle back in, and test it again. You may need to repeat this process a couple of times to make sure that you get the water flow even across your entire stone. If you're experiencing low water flow, there may be a kink in your hose, and you'll just need to inspect the hose from the back and make sure that there are no kinks. Also, if you're not getting water flow over the entire surface of the stone, you'll want to take a Scotch-Brite pad and scrub the stone down.